Hello everyone, welcome to V2 E section. Myself, Professor Nitin Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of CSE, VVC, Mysore. So, in this video, I am going to explain the program number 3 that is login application that comes under 18 CSMP 68 mobile application development laboratory for 6 semester CSE and ISE students. So, before I start with this login application, firstly you must know the intents. So, I have explained about the intents in my first video where we are going to make use of two types of intents. One is explicit, other one is implicit. What is this intents means? These are the two types of intents that we are going to use in our Android application development. Explicit means what? Explicit means so, if the transition, if the intents means user intentions, explicit user intentions means what? If the transition is happening between two activities, note the point, if the transition is happening between the two activities, such intents are called explicit intents. If the transition, for example, if you receive a web link, particular website link through your WhatsApp, if you click on that website, it will ask you to the, the permission to open in which particular browser, either it may be in Google Chrome or Opera Mini or the browser which is there in your mobile. Such kind of intents means if you are taking help of another application to complete the task, such kind of intents are called as an implicit intents. So, how this intents can be used in your mobile application development. Simple syntax, so kindly remember this syntax, well, because throughout the application development we are going to use the same syntax for the intents. So, the syntax is similar to the object creation, how the instance of a class is created. How we are going to create our instance of a class? Class name, reference is equal to new class name. Similarly, the intents, intent, reference, you can use any reference, is equal to new intent. So, please remember this, the parameter, the parameter that you are going to pass here. So, if you are making use of explicit intent, explicit means the transition will happen between the two activities, then you are going to mention the class name. This is the syntax that we are going to follow with respect to explicit intents. So, if you are working with the implicit, same syntax we are going to follow, intent reference is equal to new intent. So, in place of class name, if you provide the action, action view, action call, action call record, action video record, whatever the action that you want, if you provide that action which is available in the Android studio, such intents are called implicit intents such intents are called implicit in. Either you can use explicit or implicit. So, kindly remember one last statement that you have to start activity. You have to use this method by name. You have to start that intent activity and you have to provide that reference. This is the syntax. This is the mandatory one. Either you go for explicit or you can go for implicit one. So, this method should be called in the end start activity. So, because this is the prerequisite you must know before I start with this login application. What is intent means? User intention. There are two types of intents, explicit other one is implicit. Explicit means the transition will happen between two act activities. Implicit means the transition will happen between two applications. To complete the action you need the help of another application. Okay. Either you use explicit or use implicit. So, in the end you have to start the activity. So, please observe now I am going to write the design requirement which is required for my program number 3. It is a simple design requirement. So, please remember here till now in program number 1 and program number 2 we have used only one activity. Yes or no? We have used only one activity but with respect to this program number 3 we need 3 activities. We need 3 activities just observe. So, activity number 1, activity number 2 and activity number 3. 
what is the context of this particular application? The context of this particular application is simple. You need to write the rules for passwords. So, the length just observe, firstly I will write the rules that we need to follow for the password. The password length should be 8 and it must have capital letter, lower case letter and number and special character. This is the rules that you need to follow while creating the password. So, this you must know, this is what they have mentioned in the question. So, you firstly I am going to design an activity by name sign up. Okay. So, where the user is going to enter the email and password. and they are going to sign up. So, whenever you want to create a project, so this activity will be automatically created. The activity name is main activity. So, in main activity, I am going to write the design like this. Sign up, email, password. When the user clicks on this sign up, it should take to the next one. So, please see your observe. So, with respect to the password, you have to follow these rules such as the length of the password should be greater than or equal to 8 and it must have a uppercase letter, lowercase letter, number as well as a special character. Only if the password is following these rules, then only it will take you to the next activity. Is that clear? So, the next activity you own soft only why because whenever you create an Android Studio project, it leads to creation of only one activity. That is main activity. So, here with respect to this application, this program which I am discussing, I need three activities. Yes or no? So, first activity is already created whenever the project is created. So, after that you have to create another one by name, login activity. Login activity. So, in this login activity, please observe. So, once again I am going to use a title that is login Okay, then I am going to provide the email which I have provided in the same email you have to provide and password and login. Just observe. So, here the user is going to register by giving the email password, the password should follow the same rules and sign up. So, you will be transited to the login. So, once again the same email and same password and login should be given. So, it will be authenticated, it will be cross checked. So, if the user is providing the same credentials, then he will be transited to the login successful page. So, you need to create a one activity by name, login, successful activity. So, coming, this is my complete design. So, totally I need three activities. One activity will be automatically created whenever you are going to create the project, that activity name is main activity. So, where I am going to use a title, the title is sign up and email plain text and password. In password, you are going to get two choices. One is password number, other one is just password. You have to use just password. Please note down this point. In password, you are going to get two passwords. One is numerical, other one is normal password. Why? Because just look at the rules. It should be eight characters, more than eight characters and it must have capital uppercase letter, lowercase letter, number and special character. If you use the password number means, it is not possible to give such password. Is that clear? So, email text, password plain text and a button. This is my design. Which, which, which layout you are going to use here? The layout that I am going to use here is relative layout. Relative layout. The components that I am going to reuse here is 
I need one text view, text view and email plain text or just if you search for email, it will you will get that email plain text one and password just remember this for password, it should not be the numerical one and one button. This is my design requirement. The layout that I am going to use here is relative layout, one text view to display the sign up activity name and one email plain text and one password, it should not be numerical one and one button. So okay, similarly, what is the design requirement of this activity? So I am going to use, once again I am going to use the relative layout. So I need same text view to display the login one text view, one email text, email plain text, one password, it should not be numerical and one button. This is the design requirement of this particular activity. This is the design requirement of this particular activity. Okay. What is the design requirement of this one? You do not have anything to display here, just I will use one text view to display what login is successful okay the layout you can go with the constraint are relative which one you feel comfortable you can use that is it this is the design requirement just simple the context is first the user is going to give the email and the password by following the rules it should be eight character more than eight characters and there should be a capital letter lower case letter and special character and number so once you click on sign up that particular details will be registered okay so by using the same details you have to click on login so if the both the details what we have given as a sign up and the login are matching means then he will be transited to login successful page otherwise you will be restricted this is what we call program number three okay that is login application this is the design requirement i guess you are clear with the design requirement let's start the development in this demo, I am going to show how to implement the program number 3 that is nothing but login activity. So I will create a new project. So the project must have three activities here, but you do not have any feature to select the three activities in the beginning itself. So firstly, you have to select the empty activity. Okay. So the application name is login application. And finish. So close the previous one. So adds uh, uh, it consumes the RAM. So the C1 on the system may get slower. That's why terminate the previous application which are in use. So I have created a new project. So you have to wait until the build is over. So coming to the design of this. So here we need to create three activities so firstly in the login application you can observe here so the one activity has been created whenever the new project is created automatically okay so that's corresponding uh, design file is also ready so please observe now i'm going to create another three activities how to create the three activities just observe you have two options here so first option is go to file and new so where you can observe activity and you can select the empty activity once again i'm going to show you file new activity and empty activity this is the one way to create the new activity that is nothing but so i'm going to give the name as i'm going to name it as login activity login activity so where you can find a launcher option what is this launcher option means so whenever you execute any particular mobile application the execution will begin from the main activity if you want to make it this as a 
executable activity then you can select this option otherwise the execution will begin from the main activity itself okay so choice is yours either you can select this one or you can unselect so if you select this one means you can even you can execute this application from through this activity okay i'm not going to select this one why because the execution may begin from the first one itself okay finish so i have created the second activity the activity name is login so once again the synchronization will happen why because the new activity has been created the name of the activity is login activity okay so just observe now i have created two activities how to identify which one is the design files just observe the first activity which is created when the project is created as main activity dot java the first name is main so the prefix is main so you can observe your activity underscore main indicates that this is the design file of the main activity so the second one that we have created right now is login activity where the first name is login just observe the prefix is login so activity underscore login underscore activity means that indicates that the activity name is this design file is corresponding to the login so next i need another one activity how to create it so as i mentioned earlier the one way of creating the new activity is file new and the activity and select the empty activity file new activity and select the empty activity another way is just observe so open the java folder inside the java folder open the first one where you can uh, look the how many activities are present in your application right click on this and go to new and select the activity and empty activity this is the another way of creating the activity the last one as i mentioned in the design i need three activities here this one is login successful login successful activity once again i am not going to select the launcher option for this one also and i am going to finish it so once again the synchronization will happen why because the newly created activity should be synchronized with the previous project so now observe totally i have main activity which i have created which is created when the project is uh, firstly a new project when you create the new project this main activity is auto created then i have created another own activity by name login activity this last one is login successful activity and corresponding design files are present here okay just observe even you can look at this look the same you can observe the same in the java folder there are three activities are present this is the first step you have to create the three activities so next go to the design part of main activity design part of main activity so if you have uh, more number of activities if you want to close it you can close it and you can open it once again in the java folder or in the resources layout folder okay so go to the design file of first activity that is nothing but main so go to design so the layout that we are using here is constraint layout okay so i will show how to use the constraint by using this so i will set the i will set the same constraint layout why because i am going to use only three components here uh, email password as well as uh, the submit sign up button so i am going to rename this hello world and i am going to change it to the text to as per my design i need to change this one to sign up and i will increase the font size whenever you are going to change the attribute you have to select that component and you have to search for that attribute here font size 36 okay so next i need to add email just observe so if you search for email you will get it so drag and drop as i am using the constraint layout i have not changed it to relative you have to set the cursors for all four sides okay so i am done with adding the email plain text so don't search for the plain text search for email you are going to get it okay so next i need to add the password password so you will get two option one is just password other one is password numeric 
So as I mentioned earlier, you have to go with the just password. Don't go for the numeric. If you go for this numeric means you have to give the password as numerical values. But as per the question that we have in our syllabus, you have to give the password of length eight or more. And it should have a uppercase letter, lowercase letter, special character and number. That's why we will go with this password. Just password, not the numerical one. Okay, select the normal password. And set the cursors towards the four sides. Okay, done. So next, I need, as per my design requirement, I need a button. Drag and drop a button to your design. And set the cursors. So whatever the design that I'm doing right now is in main activity. Why? Because the, firstly, I need to do the sign up. Then I need to go for the login. So and I will, I will change the text of this button. That is text. I will change it to sign up. Okay. So but so here the ints are not available. Just the, uh, it's like a empty boxes, but we need to provide the into user right where he has to enter he or she has to enter the email or where he or she has to enter the password. That's why I will go to the code part of this first activity. Okay. So in the code, just observe here. Firstly, we have edit text. So this text indicates what password I will rename it as edit text password. Why? Because the length is uh, edit text text password is not required edit text password from here onwards. If I want to recognize this password, this uh, uh, password uh, text view in my design, my code means I will refer it by using edit text password. This is the ID and I will add the int. Int. The int is enter password. Okay. Similarly, I will do the same for the first edit text that is nothing but email. Email. So I will rename it as edit text email. Okay. So there is no need of uh, maintaining this lengthy ID. That's why I will rename it as edit text email. Okay. So from here onwards to recognize the edit text or the text that I have uh, plain text that I have added uh, with respect to email will be recognized by using the edit text email and I will add a int int that is email. So now I will look at the design. Just observe sign up. Enter your email ID here, enter the password and sign up. So I need to design the same in the similar manner with respect to login activity. Go to this login activity. Firstly, add the text view. And I'm going to give the title for this text view. Why? Because I'm, I'm adding this text views for just for the title purpose. Nothing more than that. One drawback of this, why I'm using this constraint layout, uh, because to show how it can be used, the drawback, one problem with respect to this constraint layout means so you have to set the constraint for all four sides. So I will change the text, the text that to be changed for the second one is login. And I need to change the size also, so that it can be visible to the user, login. So firstly, similar, same design we are going to follow. What, what I have designed in the main activity, same design I'm going to follow here. Firstly, I'm going to add the email. Next, I will add the password. So you should not select password numeric, just password you have to select. So the main application of this program is to use how to make the students aware how the intents can be used and how the data can be passed between two activities using intents. So next I will add a button. Okay. 
Okay. So next I will rename the button. So I will change the text of that button. I will rename it as login. So next there is no hints provided and I need to rename the IDs so that I will go to the code part of this uh, login, login activity. So we have your edit text, text email password. I will rename it as edit text email so that I can easily recognize that this text is responsible for email. So next I will have edit and I, have, I will add the hint for this one. Just make a new line and add hint in this email address. So next I will rename the ID of the second one that's with respect to password. I will rename it as edit text password and I will add the hint. Hint, enter password. Okay. So now I will look at the uh, look, uh, just uh, have a look at your design. This is the design, login, email and password. So please remember one thing, there is no change in the uh, design of sign up as well as login. Just the thing is you are going to change the title, that's it. Okay. So the last activity, we don't have anything to design here. Just I'm going to add a simple text view and I'm going to indicate the user that the login is successful. So you have to do this. Uh, design in the last activity that is login successful activity. You are going to add a text view and you are going to change the text in present in the text view. Login successful. And you are going to increase the size of the text. Okay. So we are done with the design of this particular program. So please remember, firstly, firstly you have to start the design with the main activity where you have to add the title sign up, you have to add the email plain text and password plain text and you have to rename the IDs of email plain text and password plain text and you have to add the ints of email as well as enter the password and you have to rename the button to sign up. Similarly, you have to do the same design with respect to login activity, the second activity that we have created, title login, email and password and the login button. Just rename the uh, IDs as well as the add the hints. Finally, with respect to the last activity that is login successful activity, I'm going to add a simple text view and I'm going to change the text to login successful and I'm going to increase the font size. This is what I have done till now with respect to design. So now I will proceed with the logic part. That is firstly, I will start with the sign up activity. That's nothing but, so please remember one thing, we are not going to use the term sign up activity in our program. Why? Because we are going to use the main activity as a sign up activity. Okay. That's why. So I'm going to add the logic here. So firstly, I will define the global variables. Why? Because here we are working with two plain text. One is with respect to email text. Other one is with respect to password text. These are the two texts that we are going to refer in our program. That's why I'm going to declare them here. Edit text. First one is email text email text and a second one is password text okay so next as i mentioned earlier so you need to identify those two texts in your program one is email other one is password so the id that we have used for the email is edit text email I, the ID that we have used for the password is edit text password. Okay. So that should be identified after the set content view. That may be any program concerned. So you have to identify the components in your Java part after this set content view. Okay. That is email text means what is equal to find view by ID r dot ID that ID is edit text email. Okay, we are done with the identification of email edit text. So similarly, we have to identify the password text. It's nothing but find view by ID r dot id dot edit text password. Okay. So now I'm going to write a method by name sign up. Method by name sign up. Public void sign up. As I mentioned earlier, you have to provide the view for any method that you are going to write independently. 
ओके तो फर्स्ट आई नीड टू पार्स वॉट यूजर एज एंटर्ड इन द ई मेल एंड एज वेल एज वॉट यूजर एज एंटर्ड इन द प्लेस ऑफ पासवर्ड आई नीड टू चेक द रूल्स विदर द लेंथ ऑफ दट पासवर्ड इज एट कार कैरेक्टर्स आर मोर एंड इट मस्ट हैव ए अपर केस लेटर एंड इट मस्ट हैव ए लोअर केस लेटर स्पेशल कैरेक्टर एज वेल एज नंबर दैट थिंग आई एम गोइंग टू राइट यस्टली आई विल डिक्लेयर ए स्ट्रिंग द नेम ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इज ई मेल सो ई मेल मीन्स वॉट इज देर इन द ई मेल टेक्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू रेफर इट एज ई मेल ई मेल इज इक्वल टू ई मेल टेक्स्ट डॉट गेट द टेक्स्ट एसोसिएटेड विद इट एंड कन्वर्ट इट इन टू स्ट्रिंग so from here onwards we are going to refer email means what the user has entered in the email plain text okay similarly i will do the same for password string password is equal to password text dot get the text that associated with that password plain text and convert it to string okay so now i am going to write a method a private method which is going to check the rules of password if there is a violation in the rules of password it's going to throw a toast message that password doesn't match the rules otherwise it will pass the data to the next activity that is nothing but login activity just observe i'm going to write a method if the method name is is valid password so usually we'll get the error here why because we have not defined that private method that's why i'm getting the error don't worry so once that method is defined this error will be removed is valid password is a private method that i'm defining to check the rules so if this rules are not satisfied okay if not satisfied then i'm going to throw a toast message toast dot make text so either you can use get application context or this keyword okay so i'm going to use the this keyword to refer the context so and i'm going to throw a message that password doesn't match rules password is not matching the rules okay then i'm going to provide the length for the toast as i mentioned earlier you have to provide length long not don't show select the length short finally dot show okay so if the password that you have entered is not valid then this toast message will be triggered okay if the password entered is valid toast message will be triggered and the control will be returned if the password entered is valid then i will call the intent that is intent reference you can give i r i intent whatever you want is equal to new intent how you create a instance of a class in similar manner you are going to create this will refer the application context okay so if it is true from this activity we need to transit to the next activity that's the name of the next activity is login activity login activity dot class if the password given by the user email and password is correct is matching the if the password is matching the rules means then it should take the control to the next activity this kind of intents is called explicit intents okay explicit intents and along with this intent you need to pass the data why because there the authentication should happen right by using the put extra i'm going to pass the intent dot put extra i'm going to pass email what user has entered okay as well as intent dot put extra password what user has entered okay as i mentioned earlier whenever you use this intent so you must start the activity start activity what's the reference that i'm providing here what's the reference that we have used for the intent that is nothing but intent in the lower case letters that's it clear so i am done with the writing the 
sign up method okay so but the thing is it is showing error for this validity password why because i need to write the patterns for lower case letter upper case letter number and special character then i need to write the method for this one so now i'm i'm going to write the pattern so pattern pattern first i will write it for lower case letter lower case so general how you are going to write the pattern in uh, java same uh, thing you are going to write compile within the double quotes it must the pattern must start with a cap and here we are checking for lower case letter let's why a to z in lower case and the pattern must end with the dollar okay so this pattern is for lower case letter so please remember the pattern should start with the pattern should be enclosed within the double quotes it must starts with a cap and it it must end with the dollar and it must be indicated within the dot and star the pattern a to z similarly you have to do it for the upper case letter that is nothing but i'm going to change it to upper case just you are going to change in place of lower case letter you are going to mention the upper case letters okay similarly you have to do it for number just in place of characters you are going to mention the 0 to 9 next you have to mention the special characters that is nothing but yes char so what is that special character which is not either a to z lower case or a to z upper case and it should not be 0 to 9 so all other things will come under the special characters just observe not not lower case a to z lower case a to z and upper case a to z and 0 to 9 is it clear we are done with the defining the patterns for lower case upper case number as well as uh the special character is it clear so next i will write the method private method for password validation password boolean what's the name that i have given here is password valid that i will use that name is password valid what you are going to pass as a input for this function the password that user has entered okay so firstly first condition if if the password length first condition is if the password length is less than 8 characters is less than 8 characters i am going to return false false means it will not take it as a password so next one if not lower case dot i will call the matcher okay on this given password dot matches i will return false if there is no lower case letter then it is also take it will consider it as false next if not upper case matcher will match the password with the upper case then also it will return false if there is no upper case letter then also it's going to return false if not number dot matcher is going to match the password with the password with the number 
if it is if it doesn't having any number means then also it's going to return false next the last one if it doesn't have a special character dot matcher password matches then also return false okay so if the special character is also not provided in the password means then also it will return false if everything goes fine if everything goes fine then it is going to return If you are for satisfying all these five rules, the password length is greater or equal to eight. The password is having lowercase letter. The password is having the uppercase letter. The password is having the number. The password is having the special character. Then it's going to return true. So if it is true means what will happen here? If it is true means the intent will be created and it will be passed. The control will be passed to next activity. along with the data such as email and password and start the activity as i mentioned earlier when are you are going to use the intent means it should be started okay so we are done with the writing the logic for the sign up activity and please remember once after writing the logic for the sign up activity here we have a button right so we have to embed that logic inside that button go to the code part of that button go to the code part So this is the button, right? I will add a method. The method name is on click. So what's the method that should be triggered? Sign up. Sign up. That's it. We are done with the main activity. That's nothing but sign up activity. Don't con get confused. So we are here. We are. We are. We are, don't have an option to create first activity itself as a sign up activity. That's why I'm using the name main activity. So the next one, login activity. Okay. so we are done with the designing of login activity once again here also we need to identify the id text with respect to email as well as password that is edit text email text other one is password text okay so along with this edit text email text and password check means what we are doing in this activity is we are going to cross check whether the user is going to enter the same email id and password so which we have entered in the previous sign up that should be matched and those values such as email and password will be passed to this by using put extra so we need to recognize that right that's why i will use a variable called string our registered email as well as registered password which has been passed as an a values from the previous intent okay so now i need to identify the components such as email text that is nothing but find a view by id r dot id dot email it is text email that's why i told you to maintain the unique name so that you can easily identify email text means what the id of edit text that is responsible for email next one is password text means what id of find view by id r dot id dot edit text password okay so we are done with the identification of the email text as well as the password text so the next we have declared two variables right here registered email and registered password what is that registered email and registered password means registered email is equal to what what we have obtained get intent dot what we have passed as a put extra that will be the email so registered password means what our password means get intent from the intent get the string extra which has been passed as password okay so now i will write a simple method where i am going to cross verify whether the user is going to enter the same password and email 
so if they enter the same password or email means then we are going to transit them to the last login successful activity otherwise we are going to indicate the user that you have entered the invalid credentials that's what i'm going to mention here the method that i'm going to use here, here is login public void login and however any method concerned i need to provide the view okay so as i have written manually it's showing the error if that's the case you have to use it so make use of intellisense otherwise you will receive error firstly so i need to pass this email text which is present in the login and i need to store it as email i need to pass this password text which is present in the design what is the user has entered as a password and i need to store it as password firstly i will declare string email is equal to email text dot get the text and convert it to string what the user has entered get the text and convert it to strings and that's what the email user has entered what is there in the email text similarly password means what string password is equal to what's there in the what's there in the password text get the text and convert it to string from here onwards i'm going to refer it as password text password clear so now i need to compare what I have obtained as a email what I have obtained as a password that is present in the text password and email text i need to compare that with the registered email and registered password if they are matching means then i am going to pass the control to the login successful activity otherwise i am going to indicate a toast message that is the login credentials are wrong if the registered email equals means it is same as the user entered email and the registered password which is obtained from the sign up activity is equals means same as the what user entered as a password in this particular activity so if both are same so i am going to use the intent i am going to use the intent is equal to new intent i am going to create a intent here so that intent will point to the login successful activity login successful you are going not going to use the name activity login successful dot class just remember this you are not going to use activity then uh, term activity you are going to mention it as class so as i mentioned earlier so if you are using intent means by default you must start the activity start activity not activities activity and you have to pass the reference that is intent if everything goes fine if the registered email is equals to the email that is entered in the login activity the registered password is same as the password entered in the login activity then the intent will be called and the control will be transferred to login successful otherwise otherwise else so you i'm going to print a toast message toast dot make text thus i'm going to print a message that is invalid credentials credentials and it should be indicated at least for 1 second that's why i'm going to use length long dot show okay so i am done with the writing the login method so i need to place this inside the button that is present in the login activity so go to the code part of the second login activity so where you can find the button by name login you have to place the method on click method there on click the method name is login is it clear so once after this so there is nothing you can do with respect to the third activity or that is 
login successful activity it's a dummy activity where we are going to display just a message that login is successful so just i will brief brief it out once again so the firstly you have to create new project so that will create the main activity next you have to create another one uh, activity by name login activity then you have to create another one activity by name login successful activity so go to the design part of main activity is nothing but sign up activity where you are going to add the title sign up email password password don't select the numerical one just password and sign up button and note down the ids next go to the design part of login so where you are going to add the login title email password and login button and note down the ids and provide the ints next go to the design part of third login successful activity just add a text view and rename it as login successful and increase the font size okay once after that go to the main activity first means uh, sign up activity write a method by name sign up once after completing that method so add that sign up method in the code part of that particular sign up button sign up button okay next write a method by name login inside the login activity add that method inside the code part of login activity that to inside the button so once after that execute it so just observe i will show the output so just please remember here here you have to remember the rules that you need to follow such as the length of the password should be more than or equal to 8 characters and it must have upper case letter it must have lower case letter it must have a uh, special character it must have a number then only it will take you to the login activity where you have to enter the same email as well as same password if both are same then it will take you to the login successful activity okay if if you enter uh, the password it doesn't have follow the rules that we have uh, that are mentioned in the question then it will not take you to the login activity even if you if the if you are present in the login activity and if you have entered the long la, wrong email or password then it will not take you to the login successful activity is it clear so my application is ready to show the output so this is what the output that we are going to get so sign up so i am going to enter my mail address that is nothing but nitin gowda 021 at vvc dot ac dot in and i'm going to give the password by using my name that is n upper case i t h lower case at 022 okay so it is more than having more than eight characters and it is having a special character at and it is having a number and it is having a lower case letter sign up it will take you to the login so why because the password rules are matching so now i will enter the now i will enter the same email address here nitin gowda 021 at vvc.ac.in okay so now i will give the same password n i t h i n in upper case at 022 so if whatever i have entered in the sign up and login both are same means i am it's going to take me to the next page that is login successful as i clear this completes the program number 3 so it uh, you may feel that the program number 3 is lengthy but there is no complexity is present in this program it's a simple program just the thing is you, you must work with the design as well as the password rules thank you